Uh, we are going to think about the background of the neural network first. Uh, let's think about the Bayesian network versus neural net. The very first idea was about how about making the multiple layers with the nodes. Let's think about the binary addition. 0 plus 0 is 0. 0 plus 1 is 1. And 1 plus 1 is 1, 0. What is the one's digit? If I say like 0, 0, 0, 1. One digit is when zero 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 one 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 zero. When you have the same both, when you have a different true, so one digit is a result of x or gate. Two digit what? And the gate. But there was a problem. We could not solve x or that means we could not do simple addition. So people thought, oh, that idea is not good. Then later, neural network. Then let's teach. The multi-layer can evaluate by itself and calculate error, then we evaluate. So by using the multi-layer and we are going to calculate, then if it does not work, go back. So change the factors and constant values when we calculate. Bias is additional input and weight is when you use the input, instead of using the raw input, you are going to give some factors and uh, adjust your input value. So it looks like it's working, but people ignored it because they thought it XOR will not be solved. That means it cannot even do the simple addition. Finally, it got solved by the Mr. Hinton, but there was a problem. It was not solving all the time because he was using random factors and random constant. He did not know, people did not know why it does not work sometimes, it works sometimes. So people thought uh, this theory does not work at all. Idea was good, but we cannot make it. So there was a second dark age. And in 2006, so actually our neural network really started from 2006. It's only 15 years of history. So it can be different later. He finally published the research paper which solved most of the problems correctly. Uh, one of the popular things of what neural network did, actually deep learning did, was ImageNet challenge. Backpropagation, the deep learning solved very successfully about the checking what is the object in the image. How they studied about the deep learning, they were thinking like a modeling neuron in our computer program. The name is a perceptron. So in our brain, there are lots of neurons and they are connected to each other. They get input and also give output to other neurons. It's like a multi-layer. So we model it. Each neuron has the part of a calculate, just a little bit. So what we're gonna make it as we make a node. In the node, we have lots of input then we combine those input, then we do little calculation, we call it activation function, then give output to other perceptrons. So that's the basic design of one perceptron. Then we can make lots of perceptrons and make multi-layer neural network. So when we, when we have input, then each wire, each link, has its own weight. So there are lots of weights. Then each node also has its own bias. Then after they get all the sum, they do some calculation. Calculation can be step function or slant function or logistic function. Each perceptron checks only true, false. Then finally, you're gonna get output. And to let computer teach itself, what we do is we have actually input and training set. Training set has correct input and correct output. We call that as a target output. But when we run the, this network, we are going to get the real output. Uh, let's say just the output, the program's output. You are going to compare your output and target output. Then calculate the error, so how much different. Then if the error is bigger than our target error, we change it back. So change each weight. 
with just a little factor, just a slightly change each way, and we are going to run again from the beginning, from the input to output, until we meet no error or very small error. Very small error means like a micro, like a 0 0.000001, something like this. That's how the neural network works.